Hey Gemini, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Kansas Moons Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your February 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope you guys are well. I hope you've been doing fantastic so far. A couple things I want to note before we do start your reading is if you're interested in personal services, products, and so much more, check the link in the description below to my website. Um, if anybody is interested, by the way, in personal services, I do want to mention the only way you can get a personal service done by me is through my website at cancermoonstarot.com. Please watch out for the scammers. The scammers will try to message you on Instagram. Instagram or any other social media and they'll do their best to try to pretend to be me and get your money I'm never gonna reach out to you via a DM and I'm never gonna ask for money from you So the only way you can get a personal service from me uh, That's a paid service is gonna be from my website cancermoonstarot.com. But either way Gemini without a further ado, how are you? Let's get on into your reading here for February 2023 so let's take a look here and see what information is gonna be provided for the zodiac sign of Gemini Sun moon rising in Venus Throughout February 2023, what information can I best provide here, please, for the zodiac sign of Gemini? Let's go ahead and have ourselves a look. Having a look here at the overall energy for you, we begin here with the Princess of Wands, otherwise known as the Page of Wands. Okay, I want to go ahead and get two Oracle cards quickly for you. I know I don't usually use Oracle cards in my readings, by the way, for those of you guys that have been following me for a long time, uh, but my girlfriend has a bunch of Oracle decks. I'm the one with all like the tarot. She has a lot of Oracle. Uh, so I wanted to bring it out, see what happens here. All right, let's get two Oracle messages here as well for Gemini for February 2023. All right, cool. So let's get on into it. We're going to discuss the overall energy first, then I'll get into the Oracle messages here for you, okay? So starting out with the overall energy, we begin with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is very motivational. Something catches your eye. Something here is interesting jumping into the month of February. Now, you could be interested in a person. It could very well likely be romantic. It could be love. Um, you could have interest in a new hobby, new job. There's something here that definitely will pique your curiosity and and it will pique your interest for sure. Having a look here into the Oracle messages we have, the first message says vacation. Take time for relaxation and adventure. So this is pretty good, especially in terms paired with the uh, Page of Wands over here. Uh, I definitely feel like it's time for you to pursue something new, to pursue an interest, to definitely take a vacation from what you're doing right now. It's okay to get a little distracted this month and open up where your focus is if you've been way too focused on something take your focus off of that for a little bit and focus your energy onto other things that interest you or spark your curiosity looking at the next message we have we do have here unicorn and the message says invite serendipity okay so it's definitely time to invite some serendipity into your life this could be very beneficial here for you in the month of february so what i'm gathering so far here for your reading is that february seems to be a month where it's okay to shift your focus it's okay to change what you're interested in or to really develop new interests at this time. Feel adventurous, explore new things, test new shit out, see what works, throw whatever you can at the wall and see what sticks, okay? Is pretty much the energy here for you. What is going to be most beneficial for you at this time in the month, okay? So I think it's a good time for exploration and adventure is what I'm seeing here for you. Getting in though into the current situation, what do we have here for the current situation regarding Gemini? We do have the Nine of Swords, we also have here the King of Wands, and we have here the Eight of Wands as well. So, for the month here of February, Nine of Swords, King of Wands, Eight of Wands. I think you've been really stressed with your main focus. Seeing that Nine of Wands showing up here for you, it gives me the vibe of like, you've been doing something relentlessly. And I feel like you've been in the pursuit of something relentlessly. Maybe it's been some kind of success, or maybe it's been love, or maybe it's been, um, you know, pursuing a passion or something. And I think that you've been having a lot of stress and difficulty with it, because King of Wands is a passion. So let's say for a second you've been pursuing a person. Maybe it's felt like it just hasn't been working out. Maybe you've been pursuing a certain career field, or you've been pursuing a certain passion or dream, and it's just been really frustrating for you. You know, Universe here says, like, switch up your focus this month. Quit worrying or pursuing or chasing this. It's like, open yourself up to something else. Eight of Wands. In doing so, you'll see a lot of changes here. Eight of Wands. Moving yourself into a different energy will provide a lot of change, and it will definitely drag you out of that Nine of Swords mentality. It will definitely drag you away from any of the stress, anxiety, 
or low vibrational energy that you have been previously experiencing, all right? Before we go further, I do want to do a little bit of clarification. So I want to clarify the Nine of Swords, all right? So can you give me information here? I pulled the Chariot, by the way, but I'm going to put it back in the deck because I was not ready yet, all right? But you could be dealing with a Cancer, possibly, Gemini. But tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why do we have the Nine of Swords showing up here for Gemini in reference to the stress? What's been stressing them out here? We have King of Cups, so it could be something love-related and Five of Wands. Okay, so if you've been dealing with a romantic situation, Gemini, love definitely could be the main stressor for you. You might have been having difficulties in a partnership, difficulties with maybe just trying to form a partnership with somebody. Um, and if it's not about somebody you've been dealing with romantically, somebody you love and care about, you could be having difficulties with, such as a friend or a family member. So there's been difficulties for sure, and it's been stressing you out. And I think you're tired of focusing on it. It's like, I need a mental break. And keep in mind, right, you got the vacation card that came out as well. That's like, it's time for relaxation and adventure. It's really time to put your mind on a completely different focus. And it's definitely a time here to invite, you know, some more serendipity here into your life. So Gemini, I really do feel like this is a good time here to just change up your focus and to not let things continue to, you know, be the way they are. You need a break from things. You know, if you had a really tough relationship and a rough ride, you know, continue taking some time out for yourself right now. If you've had some issues with a friend, you know, let that cool off a little bit. Don't let it stay so hot, you know? Say, hey, okay, do you for a while. I'm gonna do me, right? So this is a time right now to chillax. And I think that in doing so, you're gonna find new interests. And I think these new interests actually have really, it has a really good probability of probably directing you to an even better path. And you're not gonna expect it, but I this is my prediction before we even get into the predictions. I think this month, Gemini, from what I see, I think this month is gonna bring you to a new path. And once you start sparking your curiosity, going on new adventures, you're going to get to a new path and you're going to recognize that this new path is way better than what I was previously dealing with. And then guess what? The stress goes away. The anxiety goes away. The low vibrational energy goes away because you're going to close out this old cycle of what you were trying to make work because you're going to find something that just genuinely works for you. You know, let's say you were trying to get a career in finance to work for you and it's been stressful and you hated it and it sucked. You change up your opportunities here you look and invest in different careers, you're going to find one that you love anyways. And you're like, okay, peace to finance. I'm doing fashion designing now. And I fucking love it. You know, you're going to figure out what is working for you now, because something doesn't seem to be working here for you anymore. It could be the same thing about love. It's like, yeah, I'm with this partner, but all we do is fight. All we do is clash and bash. And you know, I decided to take a break from the relationship. Maybe you broke up with a person or you went on break with them. And then you start to explore other people and other connections and you meet somebody new and you're like, whoa, you're, you're different and I like you and I'm interested in you and let's see what happens you know I'm gonna let my ex know things are done completely and I'm ready here to move on and see where this can go so I do feel new path coming in for sure all right moving on forward though gems let's have a look here at what is potentially coming in here for you for the month of February 2023 I want to say January so bad January guys was quick <laughs> January flew the hell by man all right what's coming in here for Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus throughout February we start here with the seven of wands we move here to the Sun and then lastly for you we have here the Knight of Swords so seven of wands the Sun and the Knight of Swords coming into February so looking at what's coming in Seven of Wands, Sun card. I do think that there's going to be happiness coming in because it's happiness that you'll be fighting for. The thing is, is that you are going to be in a place where the only way you're going to attain this new sense of happiness and high vibrational energy is going to be through exploration. If you resist exploring something new, I think you're still going to be in the Nine of Swords. So that's why I want to convey it this way, Gemini. If you want to open yourself up to feeling lighter, more free, and be able to have something new here to enjoy, you have to be willing to take a break right now from your current focus. Whatever has been stressing you out, making you upset, whether it's been your relationship, your job, whatever, you got to be willing to take a vacation from it so that you can explore what else is out there. Because if you do explore what else is out there, you're going to find something good. Mm -hmm. Sun card, you're going to find something good, something enjoyable something fun something light and it's not going to stress you the hell out instead it's going to give you energy right it could even be a leo you might meet here um, if you distance yourself from somebody or something so definitely follow through with that this month i think it would be within your best interest i really feel like letting go is gonna 
guide you somewhere wonderful, okay? Moving on forward though for you, let's see what you can expect throughout the rest of your February 2023. So what can Gemini's here expect, please? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout the rest of their February 2023. First card out, we had a jumper and that jumper is gonna be the Knight of Pentacles. Looking at the next card here for you, we have here the Five of Swords, we have here the Two of Cups, and we have here the Eight of Cups, absolutely. So, uh, you know, at first, it's gonna start off a little bit slow, Knight of Pentacles. You're gonna start thinking to yourself, should I leave my current situation behind? And slowly but surely, you're going to start to detach from your current situation, your current focus, whatever's been stressing you out. Slowly but surely, it's going to happen. But then I think something big is going to come in. Five of Swords. That's going to confirm to you that, oh yeah, it's time to walk away. You know, let's say, for example, you're with a partner right now, and it's just been really hard in this relationship, you know? You're going to get this confirmation, maybe through like a big fight, or maybe get this confirmation through just something your partner says, and you're like, yep. This is what I needed to walk away. You gave me the reason I need to walk away now, and I'm ready here to keep on moving, living my best life, and exploring what else is out there. And you know what? Once that happens and once you walk away, I really feel like you are exploring something here that's going to be meant for you in February 2023 because we got here the Two of Cups. You're going to connect with something new or someone new. And when you connect with this new thing in your life, it just feels like it was the right timing. Everything here feels perfect. It feels like it's meant to be. It feels right for you. And you're like, I've made the right choice. So eight of cups, I'm ready to fully walk away. I'm abandoning here what's been stressing me out. I'm abandoning this path that hasn't been bringing me the best of energy. And I'm ready here to move on forward with the new path that's come in for me. So I think it's going to work to your benefit here. And once again, like I said, I really do believe you're going to get that confirmation that it is time to walk out. You know, it's time to move on. And once you walk out, you're going to find that new thing, that new path. OK, all right, Gemini, let's have a look here at what the universe has for you in regards to advice. So we're going to see some advice here from the universe for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What advice from the universe do we have here for Gemini? First card out, two of wands. Moving on forward from that. Let me switch cameras here. Moving on forward from that. We do have here the five of pentacles, the queen of pentacles and the five of cups so yeah two of uh two of uh wands here all the way to the five of pentacles right universe here says gemini you have a choice you know you can choose to be where you're in a situation where it feels like something's missing let's say for example right you're in a relationship what do you believe is missing gemini well happiness seems to be missing from the relationship because it feels like all we do is fight and it feels like we're just always miserable so you know if you feel like if you're dealing with a relationship you know what's missing what's missing is the happiness you know so universe here says okay you can choose to stay around what's missing in your life or two of wands you can go ahead and explore what the world has to offer and over here this man is holding a globe which is the world and he's holding a staff which is the ace of wands so what this represents is is have that new beginning take the new beginning because if you take it you can explore a whole new world and you can find what's been lacking or missing which is the happiness right so of course this is only just an example for gemini's that are dealing with an unfulfilling relationship but it applies basically to whatever you're dealing with gemini right something that you want is missing in your current situation and if you open yourself up to the new beginning, you're going to find what's missing. Okay. Queen of Pentacles here, five of cups. You don't need to suffer and you don't deserve to suffer is what the universe here says. At the end of the day, you deserve the best. And most importantly, you deserve Queen of Pentacles. What works for you? I think as a Gemini, you've been pretty considerate, right? Gemini, you've been pretty considerate of your situation, whether it's with someone or something. And you have tried to give it your all and you've, you've been committed, you know, for a really long time to whatever this nine of swords moment is you deserve to be happy you deserve to be set free you deserve to be living your best life and you don't need to stick around for anyone or anything that doesn't serve you and the universe is trying to let you know that that it's okay to let go and it's okay to put yourself first all right all right gemini before we close out before i get into the outcome card i do want to take a look here and pull two more oracles in terms of advice for you so let's get two more cards of advice here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout February 2023. What is going to be some good advice that Gemini needs to hear? We have here new beginnings. There it is. And then we have here moving forward. Look at that, dude. Couldn't even be it couldn't even be more perfect than the two cards here that came out that is so suitable here for your reading. So new beginnings over here. Begin your new life. Gemini, it's time, baby. OK. It's time. I don't know if this is supposed to be depicting a phoenix or is this depicting a different kind of bird? 
Maybe a different kind of bird. I was going to say like a phoenix rising from the ashes, but I don't think this is a phoenix. Sorry, guys. I'm not good with bird terminology. All right. So you might cut, my, cut me in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, either way, new beginnings, right? It is time to begin your new life. There you go. And then moving forward, get ready for a positive change. Absolutely. I also love the way this card looks. It looks really cool, man. The colors are so vibrant and beautiful in this deck. Really like this Oracle. Um, if you're interested in the Oracle, by the way, it is called the Mystical Wisdom Card Deck. So if you want to give that a check out, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or something like that. Maybe you can find it at a local uh, Barnes & Nobles too. Regardless for you, Gemini, yeah, that sums it up perfectly, right? It's time to move forward. It's time to enjoy the new beginning. Don't hold yourself back in that Nine of Swords place anymore. Look into the new, all right? What's going to be the overall outcome here for Gemini, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout February 2023. What's going to be the overall outcome here? And what do we have? We have here the Moon. And honestly, you know what? Let's get one more card. Knight of Wands. Yep, that makes a lot of sense here too. So the Moon card to the Knight of Wands. Moon card coming into play here for you for the outcome. I feel like it's time for you to look in a different direction. But most importantly, it's time for you to trust and listen to what your feelings are telling you. Feelings can seem confusing. And as an air sign, sometimes you might have a difficulty you know, understanding if your feeling is 100% what you're feeling because you might the thing is is like as an air sign you can have fluctuating feelings they can change like the wind you're trying to know is this a set in stone feeling is this a sure feeling i think there's a part of you that's a little concerned here on if you're making the right choice or if the feelings you're doing or feeling am i acting on impulsivity or am i making the right incorrect choice is this feeling long lasting am i going to regret this later you're having all these questions here on an emotional level but i think you're realizing that the true feeling here is that, yeah, I think it is time to go, Knight of Wands. I think it is time to explore and to adventure and to see what else is out there for me. And I do believe that if it doesn't manifest here in February, if you don't start this new beginning with someone or if you don't start a new beginning in a new work field or whatever the case might be for you, you know, if your new beginning doesn't come in February, it's coming shortly. It's happening here in 2023. So you will be more, more than likely, based upon this current path, walking away from what's not working in your life right now and finding something new that does, okay? And I think it's going to be a wonderful experience. I don't feel like there's any other way I can put it, okay? All right, though, Gemini, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it happens to resonate, please do let me know down in the comments down below. If you are new here and you're interested in subscribing to the channel, I'd be more than happy to welcome you here into the Soul Family. So thank you for that if you wish to subscribe. Of course, guys, if you want personal services, products, and so much more, check out CancerMoonsTarot.com, linked in the description below. Have a great and fantastic day, as well as your month of February. February, and I will see you guys later. Much love, Gemini, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.